Welcome to ABC 4 News at 10. I'm Glenn Mills. And I'm Emily Flores. We thank you for joining us on this Friday night. A dirt bike accident in Eagle Mountain. One man dead and a boy in the hospital tonight. Now this happened at the intersection of North Porter's Crossing Parkway and North Evans Ranch Drive. It happened earlier this evening. Our ABC 4's Lena Takata joining us live from the area in Eagle Mountain with the latest details. Lena. Emily, according to a sergeant of the Utah County Sheriff's Office, a 14 year old boy was dry riding down this road on a dirt bike going 60 miles an hour, which is over double the speed limit when he hit a 19 year old pedestrian. Officers say the pedestrian was thrown about 50 or 60 feet and the dirt bike and the 14 year old slid on the pavement for about 200 feet. Both the 14 year old and 19 year old were flown to the hospital by helicopter. The 19 year old lost life signs on the way and was pronounced dead at the hospital. The 14 year old sustained broken bones, but is expected to recover. It's so frustrating to see something that is so absolutely preventable happen like this. And, and now a couple of families and, and even a community are, are kind of reeling. Sergeant Cannon says the 19 year old's family has been notified and he also says that this area speeding is a major problem here and that it's important for people to keep the law and drive carefully. Live in Eagle Mountain, Lena Takata, ABC4 News. All right, thank you, Lena. Also new at 10, flying debris killing a driver in Weber County. Utah Highway Patrol saying that this happened just after 3 o'clock this afternoon on I-15, northbound just north of Riverdale Road. They say debris believed to be a brake assembly went over the freeway and struck uh, a vehicle through the windshield, killing the driver. If you have any information about what happened, you're asked to contact Utah Highway Patrol. In an update tonight, we're getting new numbers from Salt Lake City 